Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and unfortunately, my father-in-law put his new battery in backwards, and so it fried a few things. As you see, he's getting all kinds of error messages here from the four-wheel drive to blind spot monitoring and a whole bunch of things that are not working. The car will not start. So there's a few things that you can do to try and uh, resolve this, so that's what I'll show you today. Under the hood... Uh, first of all, we're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal. It was hooked up properly now and not starting. Under here, you'll find your fuse panel. And what you can do is a continuity test. So I have a separate video for this in the vid video description. I can give you a, if you want more information. But you want to make sure that the battery is disconnected and not on when you're doing these tests. And what you're doing is getting your multimeter and you're turning it uh, to a continuity test. It looks like the Wi-Fi symbol here and you're gonna have your common and your red one here on that side. So what you're gonna do is go fuse by fuse and you're gonna put it on the tops of the fuses and you'll hear an audible beep. And you'll works? notice on this one, there is no beep at all. So that means that the signal can't go through that fuse because the fuse is broken. So that's how you can easily find the broken fuses. You have to check them all one by one. And uh, we found three of them that were all damaged here. Hear that one, because we had a spare fuse So, uh, as you hold them up, you can definitely see them, see and you one. can pull these out one by one, but sometimes right. they're slightly broken. But we were able to get the vehicle to start, which was great news. Um, so, we got it started, but with these three, we went and replaced them. There were luckily some extra spare fuses under that uh, fuse box, but we still are having an, uh, an issue with the infotainment center. Okay, so it starts right up now. No error messages. But we need to drive it and see if there's anything else that's not working that we don't know about. Maybe the infotainment center, you know, that kind of thing. So you'll, you just won't know until you test everything else out. So uh, everything else we checked was working, air conditioning. You just have to go through and check everything. Uh, check your taillights and your headlights and you know everything to make sure that it's working. You never know which fuses were compromised. Uh, but yeah, again, this thing's bricked up here. Uh, so we changed the radio fuses with no luck. There might be another multi-purpose fuse. Uh, there's some larger fuses here, like these style ones. And so what you want to do is wiggle these ones out and uh, you can do the continuity test on the back of them if you'd like. They're a little harder to tell if they're broken. There's just a little line on the top that'll be um, not connected anymore as it's burned out. Um, so I even switched two of the same amp ones and under the control panel here, the kick panel on the driver's side, there's more fuses back in here. So went through and tested all those again with that battery disconnected you want to be doing this test you don't want to have it hooked up when you're doing this um, but in the end at least we got it to run and drive uh, we'll have to figure out that infotainment center but hopefully this hasn't happened to you and if it did hopefully this is an easy fix like it was for us uh, sometimes it can fry the alternator and do some serious damage but at least start with the fuses so thanks for watching check the video description i'll put the other videos that are similar to this including the continuity test we'll catch you on the next video thanks guys